Family in West Houston in shock tonight after someone shot their beloved cat in the eye with an air-powered rifle. It's a second cat shot in the Grand Oaks neighborhood this week. Our Marcelino Bonito is at the Humane Society tonight. What is that family telling you, Marcelino? The Martino family is devastated tonight about what happened to their cat, Rocco. And tonight they're calling the person who's shooting and killing cats in their neighborhood a monster. There was blood all over here. David Martino thought his 10 month old cat Rocco was safe inside the garage, but Friday night he learned he was wrong. And I come back out and I see a whole bunch of blood and Rocco's missing. They found him on the front door the next day. Rocco wasn't doing well. He had a lead pellet shot through his eye um, into his neck. Vets say it's clear someone shot Rocco on purpose. You shoot at a target, not at a, not at an animal, not a living creature. That's that serial killer kind of stuff. The family rushed Rocco to an ER clinic. X-rays show the pellet is still lodged in Rocco's neck behind the jaw. Martino can't believe someone would do this for no reason. You got to be a deplorable human being who has no consideration whatsoever of uh, the importance of somebody's family member. And it's not the first time something like this has happened. Last week, another neighbor found his cat dead in a field just down the street. <coughs> so for now, Martino won't let his other cat, Whiskey, out and about. I don't want to use the cat. And tomorrow, he'll have to explain to his four-year-old sister why they have no choice but to put Rocco down. And first thing tomorrow morning, the Martino family will bring Rocco here to the Humane Society to see if there's anything else they could possibly do for him. If not, it's likely they will have no choice but to put him down. We're reporting from the Humane Society tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News.